greetings and got another LGR portrait display video for you here. Actually recording in portrait mode this time because that's what this video is all about and it seemed thematically appropriate. And this is the Radius full page pivot display, something I've covered in detail on LGR already. If you'd like some more information on that, do check out that video. The pivot is a fantastic CRT monitor from 1991 that allows you to display Windows 3.1 and DOS software in portrait mode. They're somewhere for Macintosh too, but mine's for the PC. And it can also rotate back to your regular landscape orientation on the fly. <laughs> it's a bit squeaky, but it works great despite its limitations that I went over in my original Oddware video. Uh, just as a quick refresher, this relies on a Mercury sensor to do the switching, plus some Radius software, as well as the MultiView SVGA card. So if you don't have software that is compatible with all of the above, then it's just going to run sideways when rotated. Uh, let's just get into Doom, for instance. Just your normal version of Doom here. It's of course not meant to run vertically. So if you are trying to do that on a monitor like this, typically <laughs> Doom doesn't know what to do with it. And it's gonna be the same for literally every other piece of software that isn't optimized for this display, which includes practically every single game for DOS. This is of course not a gaming monitor. This was made for working on CAD programs and graphic design and documents and stuff. It's still a decent monitor for DOS games in landscape, but then it's just like every other monitor. Obviously we want Tate mode gaming on this lovely, albeit squeaky display. And on that note, in my original Oddware episode that I did for this monitor, I said this. Sorry, no such thing as portrait doom or pivot doom or <laughs> whatever. Uh, at least not yet, man. You know, hey, somebody uh, do a source port for DOS. Pivot doom, that'd be amazing. That would be stupid, but I would love to see it running properly just to see Doom switch between the two. And well, it seems that Mr. Matt Phillips was listening at least because now we have Tomb. Yeah, this is a version of Doom that works on DOS PCs, emulators too, of course, but meant to work on original hardware in Tate mode, which of course is a Japanese term for vertical, common with a lot of arcade games, especially shooters, but uh, yeah, now it's available on portrait mode monitors for your DOS PC, if you happen to have one of those. So he yeah, released this under his alias moniker, Big Evil Boss or Big Evil Corporation. Uh, it's on GitHub and uh, special thanks to Bale Spawn and Angry Boss B for some help and also me for inspiration. So um, I did not expect to see Tate Doom come about so quickly. This is pretty wild that this happened and uh, well, let's just check it out. There is a README that it comes with here. And, uh, well, let's put this back to the other orientation. Welcome to your tomb. Tate Mode Doom for IBM PC Compatibles by Matt Phillips. And, uh, and I was really impressed to see that, indeed, there is a narrative that's been crafted specifically for this version of Doom. <laughs> Welcome. Hell is tipped over and all the devils are here. While we knew that the UAC's occult experiments would end in chaos and despair, we didn't expect their meddling would result in anything quite so vertical. Your hero, Ian Doombloke, was widely mocked among his squadron for the inoperable crick in his neck. <laughs> for his whole life, he faced pockery and scorn because his head was sort of bent to one side. But this kind of terrible fortune breeds resilience in those it touches. And on the day that Hell's Big Sods began spilling through the USE Verta portal, Ian Doombloke knew his time had come. Uh, so yeah, you're playing a Doom Marine with his head tilted permanently to 90 degrees. <laughs> and that's the uh, in-universe lore-based reason for having vertical Doom. That's awesome. Yeah, more special thanks here and some installation stuff. Really, it just consists of installing regular version Doom 1.9, which is the ultimate Doom, I believe, and then the contents of the Tomb disk, which is just a zip file you can get from GitHub to the installation directory. Rotate your monitor or your head and run tomb.exe. Otherwise, it is just normal Doom rotated. Yeah, that, that action right there never gets old. This is such a cool monitor, <laughs> despite the squeaks. Just go ahead and run Toom here. And yeah, it begins exactly the same way as normal Doom 1.9 would. But once it gets loaded, there you go. Everything's just sort of rotated, custom splash screen there, big evil corp. 
and check it out. <laughs> it's vertical mode Tate Doom. Now you do also get uh, some some clever little additions and changes here. The episodes, of course, are changed. The Shooterer, Hell's Big Sods, and God Puncher. And the difficulties are different as well. <laughs> my neck hurts. God's my neck. Really sore. Snap. And Chiropractor. We're going to go for Snap. And there we go. Now, it's not going to run the best on here, unfortunately, because uh, this is on my Woodgrain 46, and it's, uh, you know, not the fastest. And I'm also having to run it on that multi-view SVGA card, which is slower than the thing I normally have in here. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, performance is not good. <laughs> and another reason for that is because, uh, I guess a side effect of the way this was put together, I can no longer run it in, like, the lower detail mode that I normally would on this system. So... That's that button right there, and it would sort of normally crunch down the resolution a bit. Doesn't do that. You also can't resize the gameplay window. So I guess those are just some uh, some side effects of this tomb port, or update, patch, wad, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Executable weirdness. Yeah, I don't really have another system that makes sense to put this graphics card in with this monitor that's faster, so I'll <laughs> so just have to do for now. But uh, yeah, I think you get the point. Tomb. It's real! Oh boy. A bit of a hitch there. I'm assuming performance is, wow, daggone it. <laughs> Lower the difficulty level. I'm assuming it's also a little bit more limited because you are looking at more space up and down, just there's way more viewport that direction. I don't know if that impacts performance terribly badly or not, but yeah. either way, this is just all kinds of strange. Let's just run through it. There we go. Sweet. There's another little unfortunate side effect of things here. You don't actually get all of this on the screen, but I mean, at least it's uh, the right orientation. You just can't see it. Yes. Another kind of interesting side effect there is look at the skyboxes. They just sort of stack vertically. So yeah, I know. Still, the fact that this <laughs> is a thing and is put together as well as it is, I mean, you obviously had to redo like the UI, a good portion of, I guess, the sprites and artwork, the menus. I don't even know all the details, but uh, yeah, there's a thread I'll link to on Twitter that it was sort of, uh, as he was developing it, put in together this particular version. It was fascinating to see some of the things he was having to overcome in order to make it happen. And like I said, it just came together so much quicker than I thought it would. <laughs> Seriously, I was, I was thinking somebody might be able to do it someday, but... Dude had it done in like a, two weeks? A week and a half? I don't know, something like that. It's quick. So, props to you, sir, for putting this together. Fine, good enough. All right, well, I think you've got uh, the idea here, but <laughs> I just wanted to show this off. And uh, 
yeah, let people know that it existed because it exists. And I think it's so cool. When I make an offhand comment like that in a video, I just never know who's gonna be listening or what it might actually turn into. Oh yeah. It's oddly appealing on levels like this too. Look at this, like, um, yeah, cause you can see just like the weird upside down crosses and the taller architecture going on. There's a lot of tall rooms and like big outdoor areas in Doom that look really cool in portrait mode. Oh man. Yeah, like just being able to see up there. I mean, sure, you got the weird skybox stacking, but hey, it looks awesome. I was also sort of uh, in my mind when I said that, I was just talking about portrait mode Doom. Huh? That'd be cool, but stupid. But then I thought, no way, it would be cool because I don't know if anybody remembers Doom RPG. That was a thing on cell phones, like a, it was a brew game. Yeah. That was sort of a portrait Doom of sorts. Obviously it wasn't Doom Doom, it was, you know, Doom RPG, but still. In my head, I was kind of imagining that, but yeah, like weird hallways like this. <laughs> it's architecture. Look, you can see it all. There it is. Because, you know, you can't look up and down in, uh, in Doom. So there you go. This is the solution. Oh, man. Give me my shotgun back. See, this is just sad. <laughs> I can't, I can't get a handle on begging pinky demons. Man, you can tell I haven't played a low frame rate Doom in a long time. Oh yeah, what's up? Your neck hurts? <laughs> hey, nice little Easter egg there, balls and farts. So a very clearly LGR inspired version of Doom now exists. Uh, go check it out. Even if you don't have a radius portrait full pivot display, uh, you know, not many people do. This is a very rare monitor. Just check it out, yeah. Try it on DOSBox, try it on, a, if you've got an LCD rotating display, like this kind of thing right here, you can do that too. Obviously it'll work on anything. It's literally just rotating the game 90 degrees. So you can take any monitor and rotate it, whether or not it's an actual rotating monitor or not. Just stick it on side or, Rotate your real head and get a crick in your neck and just this, this is <laughs> it's so silly. I love that this exists That's it for this video I hope that you enjoyed this complete ramble of excitement at me just being amused that this even exists Because of a random offhand comment made in an LGR Oddware video or really it's not because of that It's, it's because of the hard work by Matt Phillips and others for putting this together, just taking some inspiration from said random comment. But I really did nothing. I just thought aloud. <laughs> so don't blame me. Blame him and thank him. And do check out his uh, GitHub page and other projects that I'm assuming he's got going on. I don't know. Yeah, if nothing else, tomb. I am happy this is a thing. This has really absolutely made my week. So I hope that you enjoyed at least half as much as I did. And thank you for watching.